All right, what's up everybody? Um, today, as promised, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my diet. Uh, I'm not, you know, I haven't even weighed myself. I should have really prepared for this video a little more, but it's Saturday, I'm at work, I, uh, I don't have a kid right now, so I had all this time to kill, so I figured I'd make some sort of video for you. Um, so uh, I last week, whatever it was, a couple days ago, I promised that I'd talk about my diet because I have been losing a lot of weight. Um, but uh, most of that is actually due to strength training. I've been hitting the gym at least three days a week. And the thing is, is I'm seeing results even though I, you know, haven't been on this super strict diet. I haven't been going to the gym seven days a week. Yes, I've been working. I've been working at my diet as well. But it's not something super insane. And I think the reason that I've seen more results now than when I've ever tried to lose weight or get in better shape is because I am not going strong and I'm not tiring myself out, if you will. You know, before it's been like, okay, I need to go run every single day and it's got to be at least, you know, this X amount uh, of miles or whatever it is and I have to intake this amount of calories every single day and it's got to be, you know, if I don't, I'm going to have to exercise whatever extra often. Yeah, that's true to an extent, but it's not nearly as strict. Uh, and and I think what happens is, is I tired myself out. I wouldn't hit my goals at the gym, which is super disheartening. And then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, you know, I'm not nearly as satisfied as, as going to the gym should be. And then you'd, uh, you'd have one, you know, ex you'd have a slice of pizza and you'd freak out and you'd just be really mad at yourself and it's just super disheartening and it gives you kind of a uh, like a negative feeling and that's not what you want because that's more of uh, psych psychologically that's more of a reason to quit and I think that's what my problem was and I think that's what a lot of people's problems are so what I've been doing is I had just been really cutting back on on certain just really bad foods I had a horrible diet uh, and pop was the first one to go and it's actually uh, fairly easy once you get through the first couple of days you know you don't really crave it anymore you do feel kind of sluggish and oh man uh, but there's other ways to to kind of fix that you can you can have a cup of coffee or wh whatever it's uh, mainly to get rid of the sugar I was drinking about five cans a day and uh, I mean and that was a couple years ago I've cut back to maybe two three cans a day whatever but that's still an insane amount so I actually just cut that out completely and like I said after a couple of days it, you know you kind of don't even really think about it and I'll have one here and there I'll basically maybe have one can of pop every two weeks and that's it or soda or whatever you call it wherever you live um, but that's made a huge difference because you got to think you know about a can of pop is somewhere around 200 calories right there and if you're drinking five of those a day that's a thousand calories in pop that is the first thing that you need to cut out when you go on a diet second thing less alcohol I actually have only drank twice since October and now it's March so it's been quite a while and uh, that makes a huge impact uh, and then you kind of want to start, you know, over time, you know, it doesn't have to be super strict over time, just kind of start eating a little bit less, you know, get to where you're almost full and just stop eating. And you'll actually be surprised, you know, if you scarf down food all the time, um, it, you know, if you stop eating and you're still a little hungry, just give it some time and you'll actually be full. In, you know in no time but uh, the more you do that the more you're able to kind of cut out the more you'll see results on I'm not an expert I'm also still I think I guess I like I said I haven't really weighed myself and I'm pretty sure I'm still overweight um, but I'm seeing results and that's really what the bottom line is you want to see results and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and I, I guarantee you if I do I'm gonna look great you know in a matter of time you know you don't have to it doesn't have to be a specific time uh, just as long as as you're happy eventually and you're you're happy in the process there's no reason you should be starving yourself and there's no reason you should be just trying to blow up your muscles at the gym you know maxing out every single day seven days a week that's just not the case and I'm very happy, you know, I, I am uh, I'm excited. I've taken before and after pictures. I'm not gonna show those quite yet. I'm gonna wait until I get to a really decent size and then I'll start posting pictures and whatnot. But uh, I'm, I'm seeing results and that's the bottom line. And I think if you wanna do that, uh, you're gonna see results too. Just uh, 
you know, just just follow the main keys and and just just kind of cut back gradually um, on on everything. But specifically, don't drink pop. Get that out of your diet and don't drink alcohol. You know, or, or maybe cut way back on alcohol. You know, like I said, I, I've had a, I've drank twice since since October, and each of those times I've had. Uh, I think I had two beers one night and I had three beers the other night you know in however many months that is so if you can follow those three basic things you should really be good to go as for a diet and just kind of continuously cut back slowly but surely on you know eating crap foods um, as for the working out stuff that's kind of your own pace if you know you're gonna lose weight uh, well they say 80% of losing weight is because of your diet and 20% is working out so you obviously still want to work out and like I said I go about three times a week sometimes four sometimes two at about averages two to three times you know but the more you do it the the better you're gonna be you know when I um, was 18 19 years old I could do a pull-up you know and that was when I was skinny I was you know right out of high school and 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 it was great I, I looked fine but now that I'm older, my metabolism is slowed down, and and you obviously start to put on weight, especially if you don't work out and you eat like crap. So, since you know, since I was probably 21 or whatever, you know, if I'd ever try to do a pull up, I couldn't do one. I can do six now, just since I've been working at it for the past couple months. You know, I, I'm, it's unbelievable how quickly you can build muscle and whatnot. But uh, just be doing it at your own pace, and and don't just don't go overboard. You know, don't get tired out. That's kind of my word, uh, uh, the, my phrase, I should say, of this video is don't tire yourself out. That's how you're going to succeed. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I'm going to edit this down on my new monitor, which I should do a video on sometime. It's an awesome monitor, 29 inches. Uh, and uh, we're going to finish it there. So anyway, uh, be strong and do you.